How about this? Lee Kinsel fans of the week could be Kenton and the crazy Wildcat. But Kenton was trailing cold water big in the second quarter. Dylan Toby to Brad Gear, big tackle for loss by the Wildcats' Luke Baird. Kenton continuing the defensive pressure. Thomas Phillips, the sack. Coldwater's first punt of the game midway through the second quarter. But Coldwater gets it right back. Sam Braring, look at this INT off of his teammate. He'll take what it comes to him. And then back to the offense. Toby to Nate Rindler on the out 20 yard pickup to the 15 yard line. Toby keeping it himself from the eight. An eight yard touchdown makes it 35 to seven Cavaliers. More cold water defense. Look at the anticipation. Andrew Seifring gets a big paw on that Wildcat pass. Third and five now. Trent Heights keeps it, but Ryan Kanapke, the stick. We always love it when 44 makes a play here on TV 44. Coldwater gets it back. Toby to Neil Mullenkamp, and he is gone. That could be a Layfeld rallying top five play next week. 72 yard touchdown, 42 to seven. Coldwater late in the first half. They currently lead this one 45 27. Third quarter, there is a lightning delay, and that will be a theme through much of our night. We'll try and keep you updated on postponements, resumptions, what time games will happen as that goes. But this one currently in a lightning delay, so not suspended as of yet.